everybody. I'm here. <laughs> um, so I am honored to introduce Chef Clearance. He is the creator and owner of Cooking with Comedy. So welcome, Chef Clearance. So what are you cooking for us today, Chef? Um, today I'll be doing a curry chicken salad. Not well, a Kirby chicken actually, salad. Actually, I'm gonna trick y'all. It's actually gonna be tempeh. You know what I'm saying? But I'm putting chicken in your mind. <laughs> so think chicken, don't be scared of this, you know? I'm about to give y'all a healthy, um, a healthy uh, meal option and or uh, entree, however you wanna put it. And thank you. Yeah, I, need, I needed help. Looked a little heavy. A little help. Okay. So make sure you share this with your friends and family. See if I can pull this off right. All right. Oh. Ooh, wait, what happened? <laughs> Woo! All right. Set up. We set up right here. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. That's the finishing product. I got one more thing to do. Bear with me. What I drop? I dropped my pineapple. This is my motivation. This is my sous chefs and my servers here. We got we to gotta make it live for y'all now. Hold on a second. One second now. Let's see. While he's doing this, just look at me. Yeah, just look at him. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Last thing. Boom! You gotta make it, you gotta make it official, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make it official. Okay. We set up, we right, we right. I'm gonna get started ASAP. So first thing I'm about to do is show y'all how to cut this pepper. A lot of people are scared to cut a pepper. You know, they mess it up. This is gonna be the easiest way to cut a pepper. Start from the top. Pretty easy, ain't it? See that? See that? What if it's, what this if it's is, not? And, huh? What if it's not? That it's easy. easy, look. It's a clean pepper. Oh, you're actually doing, now you can yeah. use this. That looks really. Oh my! Why have I never? You can use your whole pepper now. Don't throw that away. Some people throw that away because it got the, the top in it. Don't throw that away. Get, use your whole pepper. <laughs> Only thing you should see is this going in the trash. But I'm not going to use all that right now. So we're coming down. Pretty easy. This is what we're going to call small dice, and then you just come down with it. What knife are you using? That's going right through. All knives should go right through now unless you're using a butter knife, my brother. Maybe I'm too polite to my vegetables. It's wrong. Okay, now, I already got my tempeh. It was already roasted off. Because I ain't want to cause no smoke in here and mess up this nice man's chest hair. <laughs> Mine too, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be all in it. So anyways, tempeh. Another form is chicken. You can use it. I roasted this off. I seasoned it with all of the ingredients in which I have in this Ingles Table magazine that I'm in. So you're going to be able to take, you get a recipe, you get a recipe, and you get a recipe. That's all I can give you. Page 11. See that? All right. Calm down now. So anyways, all of your ingredients go into the bowl. Quit laughing, ma'am. I'm trying to... Trying to handle my business. All right, peppers, you know. All right, guess what? Them dried cranberries, you can use fresh cranberries too. Your mustard go in there. How much time I'm in? You, you trying to eat this already? Ooh, chili powder, curry powder. It's been about 16 hours, I think. Okay, salt and pepper, and I don't even use salt and pepper. But if you want salt and pepper in it, put it in there. When you're looking at a recipe, don't always, you ain't gotta follow the recipe. You can double up on it because you might taste it and be like, man, man, this might need something else. Add something else that you think you might need that's on that recipe, okay? This is my mustard. Boom. Get that Ingles table. Ingles Thank table. You so you mix this up, you know what I'm saying? Boop, boop, do doop, boop, scooby doop. That's how we do it on TV, you know what I'm saying? And then, it comes out to look like this. Yeah. Woo. Okay, finishing, finishing touches on this thing. Green onions, right? Boop. 
like that. This that easy. God, who laughing? You gonna make me cut my finger? Okay, come down with boop, boop. Put that in there. Oh, that's cool. That's all right. That's all right. It ain't how I want it to be. It ain't okay. I'm gonna use some of this garnish here. Put that around there. All right. Now it's super fast up. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Now what I want to do, I want to pick one person that says, "Man, I never eat no tempeh." I want one. I want one of somebody to come up here. Come up, little man. Come on up here, little man. That's what I like right now. Y'all get a picture of this. I'm going to be in the school systems after this. I'm going to be feeding the kids this tempeh recipe in the schools. Take your time, little man. Don't trip coming up here. I want you to make it all the way up here now. Don't sprain your ankle now. Get on up here. Give it up for little man one more time. Oh, yeah. he, ready. he ready to look. He ready. He be he walking aggressive. Who has to pay? I know he be coming aggressive to the table. He was ready. Like. That's how I used to come to the table. Boy, you greased up too, boy. Hey, boy, that's how my mom used to do me. I used to wipe myself off with my What's backpack, everything when I came to school. Jason, what's your favorite type of food? Tacos. Tacos. Curry. Guess what? Yeah. You can now have curry tempeh tacos. I might get it to you. like cranberries? No. You don't? Well, you about to like them today. See, I like, he don't like none of this, but he, he's willing to try it. Hold on, let me give you this little black fork. Everything is black and beautiful up here. I got black forks. They little, but you know what I mean? I've never gotten a compliment like that before. Get into that. Tell me, look, you want a, you want a, you want a, you want a little rich to go with that? Dope. That's good. Tell me what you think. You gotta, you you gotta, gotta eat get some. Eat it. Get a bite. Get a full bite. Eat the you take that flavor. Man. Get eat some of that. Fry. And I need one person that's a vegan, uh, that, that, that's a vegetarian that want to try this. Come on, man. Get on up here. Little man don't like it. He be he just being honest. Golly. Because you ate an onion, man. You dug it up for an onion. Golly, I should have gave him a bite. Should have gave him a cranberry. He ain't like cranberries. Thank you, little man. Give it up for little man. Shoot. At least he tried it. I lost him when he said he liked tacos. Who doesn't like tacos, though? Raise your hand. Get on you my nerves. Like Thank you, man. I think that was a setup. His daddy a chef. His daddy trying to sabotage me. Gene, that's your son. I seen you pointing at him, Gene. Yo, he said he like him shop. He just should have seen this man grab the onion jar, parsley, G. He, he ain't grab nothing. Mm, amazing. Thank you. Mm, See? Amazing. Oh, now you clapping. We supposed to look after each other, my brother. Thank you, ma'am. Listen. I love you, sister. I still haven't gotten to try any. I love you, sister girl. I still haven't gotten to try any yet. I'm sorry, sir. I had to, I had to let little man know, man. We got to. Look after each other, I'm sorry. Look at these chicken legs, I need to eat. Right now, I'm gonna give you the bowl. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. he gonna like this, he gonna like this. I'm about to eat me some too, though. Damn, you got me dropping it, somebody grudging me. Who said, uh? <laughs> that was Trina, oh, I know who that was. I know exactly who that, uh. <laughs> Let me make sure, cause I'm, I make sure a little, Oh my god. I am better than all right. This is it's just like chicken. Delicious. For real. <laughs> Honestly, like I do prefer tequila sunrise, but that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of you can get this for $30.99. Meet me in the back. Come with the crackers. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go have a seat. Recipes right here. Make sure y'all get this copy, man. Y'all need this. So what made you want to become a chef? Um, well, it's pretty simple. Like, I seen all the women in my house cooking, you know, my family, as far as my aunts, my mother, my grandparent, my grandmother. And uh, that motivated me to kind of wonder, why wasn't men cooking, you know, in my household? And then I had the opportunity, uh, thanks to my mom, to, um, stay in Hawaii for about four years. And there I experienced a luau, and there they, um, they cooked. The men was cooking. 
while the women danced and had, you know, entertained, and the men was cooking underground and roasting whole pigs and things like that underground, and their technique of cooking and the skills that they, you know, put out had me very interested in becoming a chef, you know, when I came back to the city. Nice. Um, yeah. So we know you've been on TV. Mm -hmm. What other accomplishments, and tell us about your experience of being on TV as a chef. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, so I was on TV, um, accomplished, well, two of my dreams, I actually, two of the things that I written down and I chased down, well, um, and I created Cooking With Comedy. So um, I was on a Food Network, a Cutthroat Kitchen, the food show, um, showcasing my food talent, of course. And another thing that I written down, you know, was to showcase my comedy. And I also was on America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I made top, top, it was like top 20 countdown. I think I was like number five on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was amazing. So I, I, got it, I share it occasionally. It comes up on my page. But it was just two of my accomplishments that I want to just put out there. Make sure you write down things that you want to, <laughs> things that you want to do in your life. Because it's going to come true. You got to write it down, though. It's a jewel. Dream boards, right? Is that mm -hmm. what they're called? Yeah. Dream boards or something. Um, so, what are you doing in Asheville specifically? So right now, um, I'm kind of just pushing food. I'm, put, I'm, on my, I'm on my food truck. It's called uh, Soul on the Road. Uh, Cooking with Comedy presents Soul on the Road. It's a, it's a, it's a nice looking food truck. It's very colorful, so I'll, I'm, if you come across it, you can't miss it. Um, it got this guy on the front with an ashy, with an ashy top lip. That's all I know, you know, he got a crown on his head. He's chocolate, and that's it. So when you see that truck, make sure you come and, you know, you come and get something. But on there, I'm introducing um, a new way, of, a new style of eating um, to, to my community. I'm posted up most of the time on 109 McDowell. That's in front of uh, Rabbit's Hotel Sound Space. I'm kind of there three days out the week, not unless I get to catch an event in the city, um, usually somewhere. But I'm doing like vegan options, soul food options. I do a special, two or three specials a day, and then I, um, I have a constant menu that I kind of just rotate monthly. So make sure you, if you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. You know, it's a lot of love in, in my food, and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I tasted the love. It was a lot of yeah. love. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. um, so that was obviously amazing. What would you say your big specialty in terms of food would be? Like, what is like the, this is my thing? Um, I, can't, I really can't say, because every day I'm or trying to create. Or is everything you make just delicious? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not you know, humbly saying it though. But um, I also like to say the big part of my motivation is being my mother, you know, wrapping this thing up. If you want to know more about me, you can Google uh, Mother's Cry, He's Still My Child which is a book my mother wrote about me when I was young. Um, the trials and tribulations that I went through as a, um, in school and labels that I was, was given to me, but I overcame that. The obstacles look at me today, so I just wanted to plug that in. The mother's cry, he's still my child. Find me on Cooking With Comedy, Facebook, Google Chef Clarence Robinson. Make sure you get a book. Ingles Table, I got about 12 recipes on that thing, me doing cooking demos, you know. And um, that's about it. Thank y'all. So look this man up. It is um, Cooking With Comedy on Instagram and um, I think basically all your Yep, right? uh, Facebook. Cutthroat Kitchen, season 15, episode four. It's called, I'm kind of a big deal. Deal spelled D-I-L-L, -L, like deal pickle. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even funny. I don't... It has been Thank a pleasure having you. Let's yes, go back and have a mimosa. <laughs> <laughs>